So it's late, um, but something hit my spirit, and um, I don't often talk about what I do and um, how God leads me to minister while I'm not on YouTube. Um, but you know, for those of you that understand um, what it is like to hear from God, experience his peace, experience the outpouring of his love as <clears throat> his love as it, it makes your heart flutter like it <sighs> fills you up, you know, um, the goodness of God, the things that he does for us, how we see him answer our prayers and when we're crying, how he takes away our pain and um, he comforts and how he assures us in so many ways, so many ways. Psalms 91, <laughs> all verses, he, he sticks to every last one of them. And that's, you know, consistency from the Father. It, it gives you a joy. There is a peace that overwhelms your soul and comforts you or it makes you <coughs> excuse me it puts you in all oh, that cheese that i eat so excuse my call but yeah it puts you at ease um the love of god it it makes you it puts a new song in your heart um sometimes you know his love is so good you just burst out freestyling a song that he gave you because of the love that you have seen him show you and so as you watch the see how the father has shown you so much love your heart begins to open and open and open the wider that it gets the more you can receive in and but also you'll be able to pour out to others so keep your heart open to God and let him continue to open your heart to his greatest capacity, the greatest capacity. You know, we often take risks in the world, but how often do we take risks with God to learn God, to really seek, seek him out, search him out, his ways, his, even though his thoughts are higher than his thoughts, he still shares things with us. Jesus. That feeling that you get to where you can't help but tell somebody else about Jesus. And I, I just wanted to share something that I don't share that I do um, for people, but the best thing that you can do for a person is to lead them to God and everything that you have experienced in the spirit. This is what you want others, <coughs> excuse me, to experience as well. Not all the hard, the, the constant heartache, the, the constant fear of not being able to move forward because you, you're not healed from getting in the way of yourself. Um, the fear, the chaos that is going on in this world. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Glory to God. Everything that is being exposed, the lies that in, in this very hour. You know, the, it's so much evil going on. But there is a place with the Father. There is a place with the Father that, man, you can't help but share your heart with um, someone that God speaks to you as you're walking down the street or wherever you are, as God speaks to your heart and he reminds you, you, you start thinking about his goodness or he'll put in, uh, in your heart and your spirit to speak to the next person standing next to you in a grocery store, walking down the street, wherever you are at your job, um, how, how good he is, not condemning people, because there's a lot of people already condemning themselves. There is a large mass of people in self-condemnation. 
So you want to share the heart of God, which is love, plant the seed in the individual. And one thing we do, I do is we'll go to the dollar store and I don't have the Bibles right now, but because I'm out, but they have white Bibles and they have black Bibles at the dollar store. And the best thing you can give somebody is the Bible so they can read because those words read it for themselves because those, <coughs> excuse me, those words come to light. They bring light into your own soul and those words come to life. So as the person, as the Holy Spirit touches that person to read that Bible, because he will. Oh. It, I mean, that's God. He touched me to open my Bible when I didn't read it for a while and just truly just want to seek him. But there was something in me, he put the hunger in me and the thirst to truly seek him. And it just began to fill me. And as the light began to fill me, it began to heal me, Jesus. Um, I am not perfect, but I am not where I was. And God is the one that tests me to show me that in my tests. How I react to a situation. Do I still react to it, act to it the same as I did before? How I approach things. Do I ask the Holy Spirit first before I approach things? Do I ask him to direct my ways when it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him? Sitting before God and opening the word changes these things. Nobody else can do that but your time with God. So this is where we don't control each other and judge people for where they are. Just give them Jesus because Jesus is all the power. He, his name is a strong tower. The Holy Spirit is powerful enough to pour into just give somebody else the love that the Holy Spirit gives you the God, the Holy Son, the Holy Spirit gives you in your soul. And thank you, Holy Spirit, give it back to my mind. <clears throat> Sharing the word of God, you can go, like I said, to the dollar store and get a bunch of them and pass the word out. And the Holy Spirit, <laughs> you leave the details to the Holy Spirit. You, we, we just step out on faith, right? And listen to him who to talk to, who would it be a blessing to. Um, he puts it in our spirit. He also tells us when to rest. You know, we don't try to uh, just, I'm going to go do this and tell this person this. And now the Holy Spirit, he, he will put it in your spirit of who, he'll point it out to you. He'll highlight it and he'll put it in your spirit and he'll give you the right words and their hearts, those individuals' hearts will be ready to receive and it's a lot of people right now their hearts are ready to receive um because of how deep the pain is there's a lot of people open but the holy spirit will point you out to those people because he's already been speaking to them and so he's just going to come along and use you and be like, hey, here's here's the Bible. Open it up. Watch it change your life. You know, that's all you can you can do. And then pray for him as you walk away. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of the Lord. But because of us have dealt with so much negative and evil in our lives and being wrong. The Holy Spirit, God, he wants to, he wants us to see the love of Jesus and how Jesus loves us no matter what. I don't care how far you think you've gone. Um, and this is to any newcomer that is watching my channel. Um, it's really about hearing the voice of the Lord Sometimes he'll remove you. Sometimes he'll tell you to go forward. It is not going to be comfortable to other people. This is how Jesus was always talked about because he totally listened to his father. And a lot of times when you listen to God, it will make people mad because they can't control you. They don't have any control of you. Their opinions, 
nothing they say um it tries to if it, if it goes against god like you have to listen to god we have to listen to god Don't put man <clears throat> ahead of God, not even your own spouse. Listen to God because you drive your own spouse crazy if, you, if you're if you not putting God first. If you're not going to God for everything, you'll start. It's this proof. Anyway, I'm going somewhere else. But anywho, I just wanted to share um, passing out the word of God, the, you know, Bible people. That's the most powerful book in the world. Jesus, his name, I'm known all over the world, famous from believers and unbelievers alike. So it doesn't matter what's going on, man. Whatever arrows hit you, when you know the love of the Lord, you're just, you're good. Things don't affect you like they used to. Um. It's that peace, abiding in the peace, staying there in a secret place, always, you know, forming a relationship with the Lord and talking to him, in your mind, from your heart. He knows our thoughts. He knows what we need before we need it. There's, there's many times I've had something weighing on my heart, but I didn't exactly ask God. He heard my thoughts in my heart and he came through and I would see that prayer answered. And I would be like, Lord, I was just thinking about this. This was on my heart. You came through. <coughs> you want, excuse me. He wants us to be aware of how he blesses us and, and truly comes through. Like when we're just like, oh, uh, if we're saying I did it, how is God getting the glory? God owns, our father owns everything. Even the money is his. <laughs> oh, Glory to God. Glory to God. No. <sighs> There's a stillness that I enjoy with the Father that I would love for everybody that does not believe in God to experience. This is why God says, for, you know, to the unbelievers, forgive them for they know not what they do because they do not know the love of God. When you experience and taste it, the love of God, it's just like, Nothing can separate you because that love is like genuine, real, pure. It's pure. It's pure. Mm. <sighs> Anywho, um, giving people the word of God and um, it says a lot even, you know, so they can just read and experience for themselves because we always want to point people to Jesus, not point people to other men to give them a word or anything. We want to fully depend on the word of God. Yeah, I always want to depend on what God says. And it's beautiful when he speaks. <sighs> beautiful, beautiful. It's a nice space to be in. Um, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. And I'm talking about an anxiety can't even live there. Fear can't live there. When you're in a secret place and always in worship in your heart and flowing with his spirit, like God is so real. He's a living, true, mighty God. And we are all made in his image, black, white, whatever color kingdom over culture whatever color it doesn't matter it's about the heart where is your heart who is sitting on the throne of your heart is it the things of this world or is it jesus is it truly jesus that you are consumed with or is it the things of this world that is consuming you jesus I'm going to say that again. Who are you consumed with? Is it the love of Jesus consuming you? Are you in, consumed um, with the love of Jesus? Or are you being consumed by this world? 
I was trying to make sure I repeated that right, but it was so deep. I'm like, praise God. Because this world, worldly, world, this world will push you down. It will consume the heck out of your mind. It will try, it will smother you if you let it. But if you have Jesus, psh, it's like walking in between raindrops. <laughs> man okay okay i hope somebody watches this and can testify um it's about talking about the goodness of god don't you know yeah there's darkness going on there's devil there's all kinds of evil going on in this world but man you gotta always just keep in your heart abide in jesus and the goodness of jesus and everything that your experiences the journey on the narrow road isn't easy denying the flesh isn't easy it is a sacrifice it is laying down what you want to do your life for the will the perfect will of god god what is your will for my life what did you create me for what was the purpose you you um created me for bump everything that I think want to do. Is it lined up with your will, Father? The direction am I going, Father? Is it lined up with your will, Father? I just want to be sure. That's, that would be, that's a prayer. I just want to be sure, Lord. Am I trusting in you? And not leaning to my own understanding, Father. Teach me how to love my children. Teach me how to love my spouse. Teach me to have patience with those when the devil is using them and they can't see it. But you still, you love them anyway. <coughs> not curse them sometimes you're not going to be around them you love them by blessing them with your prayers it is the unseen a lot of people don't don't even see that you're praying for them not even your enemies god knows this is how you stay before him with a pure heart The love of God will keep you. And that's real. All right. So I'm about to get off. Um, I hope you guys had a beautiful day, beautiful night. Um, some of you may be sleeping, but yeah, remember dollar store Bibles, um, Give them to some people that God leads you to pass them to. Um, you never know what conversation will come out of that. Because God, <laughs> it'll be some deep stuff. You never know. You never know. And I'm speaking to myself right now because it's time for me to, to fill up on some. So if anybody also wants to um, bless the ministry for that purpose for Bibles, um, feel free. But... If the Holy Spirit leads, um, but they're only a dollar at the dollar store. And it comes with a, a book with a whole lot of power. And people is just like, man, I wish, I wish like so many people that are dealing with pride still would just see that. Get to really see how good God is. Okay, I was about to get off, but I had to just boast on God though the glory of God and what he's done in my life and how he's been loving me and the things that I've learned um yeah alrighty <laughs>